The holidays are just around the corner, so I wanted to share some basic 3D design techniques for creating your very own holiday ornaments. This is an easy tutorial, but you'll be able to build on what you learned today to make even more crafty designs. We'll be using Tinkercad to create these models, and you'll be able to print these on your favorite 3D printer. Our most basic ornament is the ball shape with text going around it. Models in Tinkercad are created by combining a series of primitive shapes together to make more complex forms. Drag the sphere shape to the scene. How large do we want this ornament to be? Click and drag the corner handle to resize the shape. Everything is measured in millimeters here. Maybe 50 millimeters wide is a decent size. You can try to get it just right, or you can simply click on each field and type in the value. Change your perspective by holding right click and dragging across the view. Notice that our model is a little smushed. We didn't set the height. This handle controls how tall the sphere is. Click the handle. Type in 50 into the field. Now we need to add the hole for our hook or string to go through. Look for tube in the menu and drag it onto the scene. From some of my experimentation, I find that a radius of 5 works well. It won't break easily after you print it. Nice and solid. If you notice, the hole is pointing up and down, not to the side. We can't put a hook through it like that. Press F to zoom in on our selection. Now you can see these rotation handles on each major axis. This controls forward to back, side to side, and this one twists it. Let's rotate it onto its side. Now we need to position the hole. It's not going to do us any good just sitting out here in space. Raise the tube up by dragging the thick arrow at the very top. Raise it to roughly how high it needs to be. We'll refine it in a second. Now select all the objects on the scene. You can click and drag a box around everything. Or you can press the shortcut Control A. Click on the Alignment button. These handles control how the objects are aligned. All the way to the left, back, forward. Let's center it. Notice that we left the height alone. Manually drag the tube into place. We want it to overlap so that when we print it, it comes out in one piece. The final touch is to add text to the ornament. Normally we'd use this text object to add words to the scene, but this is flat. We want it to wrap around the ornament. If we look through the list here, we have an option for Featured. Scroll all the way down to Custom Font Text Ring and drag it onto the scene. Enter whatever text you want here. Remember that our sphere is 50 millimeters wide. The inner diameter of our ring needs to be smaller so that there is some overlap. Type in 45. Set the thickness to 5. Now we have to worry about aligning the text. The easiest way to do it is kind of a cheat. Change the arc degrees to 355. Don't worry about the text looking weird at this point. Hold shift and click on the sphere. Notice the blue outline. Both the sphere and text are selected. Click on the alignment button. If we were to center it at this point, you'll notice the tube will be out of place. Undo. Alignment button. This time we need to click on the sphere again. This will anchor all alignments to the sphere. Center. The arc degrees of the text object control how much of the ring is filled with text. Looking from below, 355 is roughly the whole ring. 180 is half the ring. 
Adjust this value until you get a reasonable output. This all depends on the length of your text. Now that you got that figured out, center the text to the sphere vertically. This is your final ornament. Control A to select all. Click group to unite all the pieces together. Now we're moving on to our next ornament, a basic key tag type. With our current ornament selected, Press Ctrl H to hide it. Drag a cube onto the scene. Let's make it 50 millimeters wide. 30 long and 5 tall. Create a tube again with the 5 mm radius. Center the tube to the top of the cube, just like we did with the ball ornament. Easy part done, now let's add some text. Drag a regular text object to the scene. Set our text. We can manually adjust the scale to fit our tag. Make sure the text extends above the cube. Align to center as before, making sure to anchor the alignment to the cube. We have an embossed style now, but let's try something different. What about an engraved look? First, click on the hold button here. Any part of an object that this text is in contact with will be removed. To see the output, press Ctrl A and click Group. This is close to what we want but we made a tiny mistake. We can see right through the model where the text was. That would be fine for some shapes, but look at the O and the A. The little parts inside the letters will fall right off when we pull it off the build plate. Undo the grouping. The trick is to raise the text just a little bit so that we have some background to hold the small parts. Click and drag the height arrow to move the print up by 2 millimeters. Group the objects once again. There's your result. We're going to take a different approach with the snowflake. A little known fact, you can import the SVG image format into Tinkercad. SVG is a vector graphic. These often look like illustrations or clip art. You can find and download any SVG you want from the web, or you can even draw your own if you have the right software. But if you're stuck with a traditional image, fear not. Let's download this snowflake graphic. Visit picksvg.com, upload the image, and select ready number two. This website will convert any PNG or JPEG image into a workable SVG file. It works best with a black and white outline as seen here. Going back to Tinkercad, let's import this SVG file. Make sure to size it to something reasonable.
Looks great. Just add the usual tube and you're good to go. Let's hide this one and move on to our final ornament. Making a snowman is a real test of everything you've learned here. The figure consists of three spheres for the body, but what other shapes do we need to make a convincing snowman? There's a hat, eyes, and a nose. What can you add to make it unique? Experiment with some of the other basic shapes. Check out some of the community-made generators. Remember, the small details don't come out really well on a 3D printer unless you print at a really large scale. There are a great number of things that can go wrong between your vision of what you want printed to the execution. Just keep iterating and perhaps you'll discover some. Once your designs are complete, they are ready for export. Press Ctrl Shift H to unhide all the models. With one model selected at a time, go to Export STL. Send these to your slicer software for printing. Good luck and keep designing!